Hey you guys, this is Brian from Team Two Shiny. This is Patrick. We're gonna go over his budget switch child uh, deck. Now, even though it's budget, this deck, I took it to um, Springfest's um, free fights last year, and it had amazing success. And I've tested it further, and it's still really strong. So bear with me. All right. Okay. Well, first off, we run the 4 of Schwarzschild, of course. Because this is a Schwarzschild deck. However, it, it also is in the backup as well. Because the backup, as you guys might see coming if you've seen our other videos from me, is going to be Freeze Ray Dragon. And as you'll see shortly, one of the primary ways is to run the deck is to ride up the entire Schwarzschild chain and just keep aggression to a minimum. And then capitalize on your low damage when you ride to grade 3 while sitting on freeze ray. Alright. And then at that point, we'll look at the stride deck to see the other the main strategy for the deck. I.e. taking advantage of the fact that we're on a 10k base vanguard at all times. And we get to stride for free every turn. And it has other benefits because you can just be on freeze ray, you can drop a freeze ray or a short child, pick up a short child from drop be to help fuel the persona blast for late game. And then just keep up your consistent large stride numbers every turn. And then we also run a Blizza for late game, if need be, for the big, and for the extra Cray Elemental, as some of our grade ones are going to need Cray Elemental's face up in the G zone. For the control factor, of course, we run two Big Crunch Dragon. Are those the SP ones? Okay, yes, they they came from the other deck. Yeah. But they don't have to be SP. All right. And then a one of judgment. If you don't want this deck to be super budget, you can make the judgment and amnesty, obviously. But judgment still does a lot of good work. The amnesty would be there solely for the mirror match and for nothing else. All right. so, Let's move on to the Greed 2s. Okay. So obviously, we're going to have four of the short child Grade 2s. Of course. Riding up the chain is really helpful. When you ride him on the 1, you get the locker card, which if they rush you, you can shut down a front row and prevent early damage. Then you'll see. Okay, now usually I've always hated Sunset Edge Dustblade. I've, I've always hated this card. I, I still hate it. Because he can only hit grade twos or less, so if your opponent fills their front row with grade threes, he becomes a dead card for the most part. And a counter blast can still be a lot in a lot of the decks that will actually run him, so he's kind of iffy. However, late game, when you're only vanilla striding into Madu every turn and holding your short shots in hand, as a result, he helps lock down your front row and really put the clinch on your opponent for the control matchup. And since Schwarzschild's skill is a counter blast three, dam and he's also a counter blast, damage can get pretty scarce in the deck, so I do run the on hit on Flipper. Which is perfect. Now usually I don't like running these guys because giving your opponent a say in your damage uh, resources is usually not the best choice but as you'll see like this deck's a lot of on hit pressure yeah and they're gonna have to take something if they want damage so you either risk a giant stride swinging at you for a potential double or triple crit or you let the uh, on hit on flip hit and usually he will unless you're uh, playing me right yeah <laughs> where you just don't see anything so. however uh, as you can see the grade 2 lineup is a little lower than normal and that is because you can use the right chain to help you see of course. the 2 yeah. and add that consistency factor now, going into the grade ones, obviously, we have four damage on flipping perfect guards. Of course. 
because again, you need to keep your damage face up. You gotta be ready to be able to drop the short shell on them whenever you want. Yep. And that's what this deck gives you the option. You just do every turn until you have both short child and they're in a place to where they gave you a board to lock. Again, short shell, gotta run, gotta run the ride grade one. Yep. Ride one. And uh, even though that this is a dead card after you ride to one, he makes a great booster over here. The 16k yep. column still gets make, make magic numbers. And now, bolt line. More on hit pressure. Because if you have this in the back row of the, of a non on hit grade two, and this in the front row of the other column, they gotta choose what to take. So, oh, unless they want to drop their entire hand on that turn and don't have counter blast for their turn, they're either gonna take an omega lock, yeah. or they're gonna let you unflip a damage, making the current lock free because your stride is already free. Hate that card. And then, just in case they didn't let anything hit, you still Omega Lock. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. And um, this, this card's really good because early, if you don't hit with the Bolt Line, but you still got the Ride for Short Child, you can lock a front row and then keep it locked down for a good portion of the game. And then, a nice little tag. More damage resources. Yeah, lately a lot of people have been using all these extra Cray Elementals. Um, what is your opinion about that? Uh, I think Cray Elementals can be utilized in a lot of decks. It's just a lot of people don't want to run the Cray Elementals in their G-Zone to necessarily make them live. And in a lot of the current builds, I can see why, but in off offhand really rogue decks, they can really make use of it. Because in the fact that I run five Cray Elementals, essentially what it can be is drop the Short Child, Short Child skill you, and then get all three damage back immediately, and Palladium will also help fill the soul for a tier. So yeah. I can still keep my cross ride bonus while on Short Child. And it's really nice because if you need to, you can drop the Short Child on someone, gain your 10k crit, triangle lock them. The next turn, Stride Madu, pick up the Short Child that you ditched for skill last turn, and then you'll be like, okay, drop me do. I have the damage back. I'm going to short child you again next turn. John, yep. And then uh, we'll get into grade ones. Obviously, short child starter, still really strong. If you miss the chain, it kind of hurts. But usually what happens at that point, what I'll do is I'll call him to the front row, put a 7K behind him, and it's just an 11K column. It's... He's fun. It's either going to rip a 5K out of their hand or they'll take it. Will they swing at him? Usually the answer is no. They'll leave a yeah, little 4K I, I, in the front. I, I don't know anybody that would just swing at your starter. And it, it, it's funny because back when Phoenix Games was open, that's actually what we would do. Uh, me and uh, Brian West, we would play, uh, I was playing Cogra, he was playing Vermillion. Our starters were always grabbing crits, triggers, and we just had our starters the entire game. So, yeah. Like, people won't swing at a 4K in the front row, but it's still at an 11K poke, yes. which is great. <laughs> yeah, we punch yeah. Someone has a Nova. <laughs> off. Uh, of course, four heal triggers. The OG trial deck heals. Stellar Garage is still one of my favorites. Yep. And then here's where some of the pressure comes in. And some, some, some? yeah. There's there's a lot of yellow in this deck, <laughs> and a lot of shuffle back. And I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, yeah. twelve crit. Uh, the deck helps you maintain hand size early by hitting the ride chain. It is a plus one when you hit it, which helps. And then the defensive base all the way up, you're an AK, you're a 10K, you're an 11K, that also helps so that they can't call 9Ks. And if they do, when you ride the two, you will lock on ride and then have a chance to Omega lock it, which really helps get rid of your opponent's aggression to stay at low damage and utilize freeze rate. Yeah. And then of course, Paradigm Shift still really really strong okay because now a lot of people don't realize this but with axe skills on these crit triggers in vanguard they're really dumb because it's cost put this unit on top of the deck that is all you have to do you can put the unit on top of the deck fail to resolve the entire if you have a starvator vanguard and your opponent has a lock card and resolve as much of the skill as possible, which is shuffle your deck. So put crit in deck, Especially shuffle deck Especially with the crit-based deck, it's just too good. 
So you have a recycling crit, and then say you do, your opponent does have a lock card. If you still are on Freeze Ray Dragon, you can still actually resolve the skill because Freeze Ray is a Starvader. That's gross. But uh, yeah, guys, this is a nice little fun budget deck that is surprisingly destructive. I made this before GBT05, so I haven't gotten a chance to experiment with the new support with it yet, but I was testing it against other people's new support, and it's still pretty effective, surprisingly, so I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Yep, thank you so much, Patrick.